This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Whether you are a beginner or a professional artist, you have certainly adopted few habits over the months or years you have been practicing art, whether it be 2D or 3D or any other form of art. Today we're going to talk about 10 of the most effective habits of highly successful artists. Number 10. They listen to feedback. A good artist always listens to what people are saying about his work. An artist might sometimes or often take the feedback personally, and instead of really listening to what the other artists are saying to help him improve, he starts defending his work and getting upset about the criticism. Successful artists know that behind every piece of advice or criticism is a hidden opportunity to improve and become better. Art is created by artists, but experienced by others whether they are artists or ordinary people. So a good thing to do is to detach yourself emotionally from your work and try to see your creation from the eyes of the others. Number 9. They learn and work in chunks. Being productive as an artist means learning and working in chunks of time depending on how long you will be able to keep going. A good period of work to rest ratio is 90 minutes of work and 15 minutes of rest. This allows you to detach yourself from your work and then come back to it energized and looking at it with fresh eyes. Getting up from your desk is also a good idea to avoid hurting your back due to long sitting hours. I would say this is a more realistic plan for learning more than it is for working. Because working as an artist usually happens under deadlines, an artist can easily lose themselves in their work for hours on end without realizing how time went by. This actually is a mind and body state known as flow where you as an artist can become one entity with your work and lose track of space and time. Some artists who work for very long hours usually enter this state and they don't want to lose it, so instead of taking breaks, they buy desks that allow them to switch between a standing and sitting position every hour or so. Number 8. They set goals for themselves. Successful artists set goals for themselves. If they want to work in a game development or VFX studios, they write the goal down and work hard to make it a reality. If they want to make a certain amount of money or to reach a certain goal in their career, they also set it as a goal and keep working and thinking about it all the time until they get there. Aspiring artists or even established artists who created a career as an artist but don't set goals for themselves will never reach their full potential because they are just following the current and they are not taking themselves intentionally in the direction where they will find themselves working even harder and getting better results, which takes us to the next point. Number 7. They always challenge themselves. Artists who don't challenge themselves by expanding their knowledge or working on more complex projects also can't reach their full potential. You can actually do the same thing over and over again, but this means that you will lose your edge and get stagnant because, as an artist, either you are becoming better or you are becoming worse. If you ask professional artists, they will tell you that they often work on projects where they don't necessarily have to always know what they are doing to complete the project successfully without trying and learning new things to be able to do it successfully. Number 6. They are good, but they are not perfectionists. Successful artists are not perfectionists. They move on. They don't spend a whole month making a piece perfect, but they create multiple ones instead to be able to try new things and hone their skills even further. If we look at the best artists in the world, they are not perfectionists, but they are prolific, meaning they create ridiculous amounts of artwork constantly. For example, the best artists in history like Picasso or Leonardo da Vinci created thousands of artworks throughout their lifetime and they were able to produce masterpieces that are still masterpieces today. If they tried to be perfectionist, they wouldn't have worked on as many artworks as a result and their chances of creating masterpieces could have been greatly reduced. Number 5. They learn one thing at a time. Effective artists are not dabblers, meaning they don't try to learn and practice different forms of art at the same time. For example, a dabbler would be someone who will try to learn 3D modeling, then concept art, then animation, then VFX, and so on. Instead, effective artists stick to learning one thing at a time. This way, they are not trying to stretch themselves too thin by focusing their strength on one thing that they can be good at. And after they acquire the necessary knowledge and skills in a particular area, they grab the new thing and learn it religiously to be good at it the same way they did with the previous one. And basically those who have enough discipline to stick to one thing at a time will do great things as artists. Number 4. They get inspired and not discouraged by other artists. A good artist sees great artwork as a calling to action to improve their skills and become better. 
I can sympathize with people whose soul get crushed when they see an amazing piece of art, but I personally never felt this way, because the way I see it is, these great artists are expanding the horizon of what is possible to do as artists, and if they can do it, you can do it too. If you are interested in learning more about how to become an effective artist, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. You can find a lot of classes about art, whether it be 2D or 3D, in addition to many other classes that can help you become more effective and productive as an artist. If you are a 3D artist, you can find classes about software such as Blender, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, and so on. For example, they have a lot of classes about Blender, and I recommend first checking out Blender 3D, your first 3D character, which will help you get a solid grip over the basics before moving on to more complex classes. Also, there is a very good class for productivity and building habits that can help you succeed in whatever you are doing, especially if you want to be a successful artist, because habits are the foundation of how good you will be. And the good thing is, it is very affordable, because you just need to pay less than $10 a month to get access to these fantastic classes. The first 1000 people who will sign up through our link will get 2 months of premium membership for free. Links in the description. Number 3. They learn from others. One of the best characteristics of effective artists is learning from others and being open to new ways or methods of doing things. Learning from others does not necessarily mean copying an artist who you look up to, because this way you will become a copycat and you will always live in his shadow or her shadow. A better way of learning from other artists is taking what you need from different artist workflows and try to incorporate them into your own. This way you will be more original and no one will tell that you are copying or learning from other artists. For example, if your point of weakness is anatomy, texture painting, or compositing, you can buy courses or watch tutorials of very good artists who will give you a close look at what they do to generate their amazing results. And slowly but surely you will be able to reach the same level they are at after you practice long enough. Also, if you are an experienced artist, you can listen to podcasts or read interviews of some of the greatest artists we have today, and you will gain some golden nuggets that you can integrate into your workflow. It does not necessarily have to be about techniques and tools, because sometimes a look at how successful artists' minds operate can give you a lot to learn from. Number 2. They don't wait for inspiration Successful artists don't wait to be inspired in order to start working on their project or continue working on the current one. Inspiration and motivation in art sometimes are like appetite in eating. When you start, things start flowing and you will start feeling doing it more and more after a few minutes but you have to force yourself a little bit at the start by doing a few small things that get you going. If you force yourself just to sit down every day and create a few polygons or sculpt few strokes on your sculpting software, you will trigger the natural momentum that will automatically and continually push you and propel you forward for the next few hours at least. As a wise man said it best, do the work and you will be able to do the work. One of the most important takeaways from this saying is you don't necessarily have to wait for inspiration to feel like working on your artwork. Effective artists don't wait until they feel like it, because over the years they practice their craft, they learn to respect their routines, their clients, and develop a symbiotic relationship with art that allows them to work under any different circumstances, any time of the day, and they will do it no matter how hard it is gonna be. Number 1. They practice daily Effective artists practice daily, or at least as much as they can possibly do it. If you are still learning, practice is even more important, but if you are already an artist who works for clients online or at a studio, then your work is the majority of your practice, because inevitably you will face new problems that you don't know how to work with, and you need to solve them and learn new things along the way. I would say that the habit of practicing daily is more important for new artists who are trying to break into this wonderful world. Practicing has different forms, but the most important type of practice is known as deliberate practice. Deliberate practice can be defined differently depending on what you do, but generally speaking, it refers to a special type of practice in art that is purposeful and systematic, which is kind of different than how a good portion of new artists practice. Regular practice usually is all about mindless repetition, but deliberate practice requires focused attention and must be conducted with a specific goal of improving performance. For example, let's just say you are a character artist or an environment artist. 
regular practice for most people is all about creating the same characters or the same environments that they created before without really intentionally practicing consciously to improve the way they model, texture, or paint their characters or environments. When artists are practicing deliberately, they are consciously trying to push themselves forward to become better by identifying points of weakness in the results they are getting and working to improve them through conscious practice. This means, for example, if your point of weakness is anatomy, you need to consciously learn new techniques and practice deliberately on becoming a better character sculptor while you are doing the other things on autopilot as you usually do. And you will do the same process to strengthen the rest of your points of weakness as you become better. And over time, being excellent will become your new autopilot mode. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.